SCS basically is a modification in SCR. Modification of SCR. SCR have only one gate, while SCS yes have two gates. P1, N1, P2, N2, cathode, anode. This is gate. Okay, this is the construction of SCR. Again, we add another gate terminal here, and this becomes the anode gate, and this is the cathode gate. Okay, so to understand the characteristics of SCR, uh, sorry SCS. Okay, so first we should know the uh, characteristics of SCR. Okay, you can see the previous lectures on the video uh, or the video lectures uh, on the Magic of Logic channel on YouTube. Okay. so the characteristics of scs are similar to scr that means this is the voltage current anode current anode is connected to the positive okay cathode to the negative and this is the gate terminal okay so the characteristics of say if you provide here is the zero volt okay and you if you will increase this voltage that is the between the anode and cathode you will get curves like this okay so this is known as the blocking period or the blocking state and after that it suddenly goes turn on okay and here is the on state okay so this is the forward blocking state transition state and this is on state if you provide some positive voltage here due to the positive volt the p2 gets forward bias and the the same process is repeated that means if you increase the voltage okay the blocking state will reduce and it will get turn on immediately right? next one if you increase another again positive voltage more so the same thing will happen okay now the function of anode gate the function of anode gate here you can turn on the scs by providing negative pulse by providing negative pulse here. and you will get the same type of characteristics you will get the same type of characteristics as you are getting on the for scr this is a forward blocking state forward blocking state okay this is known as the transition state and this is known as the on state right this is known as the holding current ih and this is known as the latching current that is il then purpose of the anode gate so to use anode gate or the anode gate is used to turn off the scs okay and this is the gate to or this is the anode gate and this is cathode gate anode cathode okay anode gate and cathode gate so if you want to turn on the scr or the scs you can provide a positive pulse here okay and if you want to turn off you can provide a positive pulse here remember positive pulse again here why if you provide positive pulse due to the positive and this is the n type semiconductor it goes reverse bias okay and due to the reverse bias it blocks the current right so it gives us us easiness to turn off that means providing the positive pulse to this gate it will get turn on okay and providing positive pulse to this gate it will turn off okay or you can change the situation like this if you provide a negative pulse to this gate okay so you it will turn on and if you provide negative pulse to this gate 
it will turn out. But it is always better because positive pulse you can easily get uh, rather than negative. So provide a positive pulse to cathode gate to turn out and provide positive pulse to anode gate to turn off. Okay, to turn off and this is to turn on. Because positive and this is the P2, positive and P2 becomes forward bias. So that's why uh, positive pulse to this P2 or the cathode gate provides the turn on condition and if you provide positive pulse to this anode gate it will provide the opposite situation that is a it is a n type and here is a positive so that's why it becomes reverse bias and due to the reverse bias the scs gets turned off this is the major role of the anode gate here uh, in the scs uh, though the it provides the positive pulse or the you know, providing negative uh, by uh, turning of the scs by pulse but the its uh, rating of SCS current rating and voltage rating are less as compared to SCR. Okay, so though it is a power device, but the compared to SCR, it has low voltage and current rating. Okay, so that's why it is not used for very high loads.